What's up you guys? It's me. Welcome back to my channel. We're in the Christmas spirit, you guys. I am super pumped for this video. If you guys can see behind me, I... The woman was too stunned to speak. Quite literally went off on my Christmas tree. I'm tooting my own horn. Toot toot. I literally just went to Hobby Lobby and bought everything that looked like a winter wonderland and I think I succeeded. Most of these decorations are from Hobby Lobby. Got some stuff from Home Goods, Macy's, and I know you guys can't see it yet. Mostly because of my camera angle, but the tree topper, I actually don't have a real tree topper, so I just made it up on the fly. I will say that I have been watching a lot of inspirational videos. If you guys saw my Christmas decor video, I definitely talked about some people that I've been watching for the holiday season in terms of shopping and decor, but I really just did this straight off of memory, straight off the vibes that I got from those videos and what I wanted from my home, and I'm so excited. I'm so happy with the results. This is the first ever tree that I decorated solo by myself from start to finish. Um, so I will give you guys all the information on the tree and all the ornaments that I used throughout this video. I had a great time decorating. I actually decorated a couple hours before I had to go to work, so I was scared that I wasn't going to finish, but somehow I pulled it all together. I also want to let you know that I just got my hair done when I decided to decorate this tree a couple of days ago, so if you know, you know, you know the struggle. I was trying to put it back so you guys could see, but you'll see the evolution of me just putting my hair in ridiculous ways and shapes and putting it up, taking it down, half up, half down, just so that I could be comfortable enough to finish the video. But don't mind the hair, just look at the tree. She is the prize, she is the main event. I almost was a little bit skeptical thinking I needed to add any more tones, but I think the textures, the iridescent, the picks really made the tree. And I'm just so happy with the way that it turned out. I could not believe that I did this. It's giving high-end luxury. Girl that lives in a high-rise apartment on the 85th floor, like that's what it's giving. Definitely grab a drink, grab some cookies. This is actually part two in my Christmas decorating series. This is my first ever apartment, so I really did not want to half-ass it. I really did it up. I cannot wait until next year. I already have ideas flowing in the mind. I love Christmas so much. It's like my favorite holiday ever. I just love everything about it and the decor is where it's at it hits so without any further ado if you guys would like to see how I decorated this tree behind me keep on watching all right you guys starting out with these picks from Hobby Lobby I love them they're like little pearl ball snowballs falling out of the tree I actually used every single one that I bought I think I bought about eight or ten of them I'm obsessed with them and I love the texture that it brought to the tree also, in case you guys are wondering, this flocked tree was from Kohl's. I will link it down below. It is through another um, website, but they sold it through Kohl's. It's another company. I forgot the name. I think it's called National Tree Company, actually. And I got it through Kohl's for about $100. Obsessed. Um, perfect size for my apartment. These ornaments, you guys, are debatably my favorite ornaments of the entire tree. I'm debating going back to Hobby Lobby and getting like two more sets of these. They're sparkly. They're big. They're perfect i'm using them as accent ornaments and you will see another pack of them as well in a different style i just love the size and it's perfect for the size of my tree even if you have a bigger tree just having different variation sizes of ornaments is just really good for texture eye catching i love it So here are the second pack that I got from Hobby Lobby. They came in a pack of four, same size, still glittery, just not as chunky, but they have little snowflakes. And when the lights are on, they look so cute. And I'm doing the exact same thing, using them as kind of like accents in the tree and fillers. As much as I love this tree, there are a couple of gaps, y'all. So I definitely need to fill some of them in with my ornaments. Now going in with my regular sized ornaments, I got these from... <clears throat> Yes, Hobby Lobby, we love her. They were having 50% off of literally everything Christmas, so best believe I went crazy in there. If you guys saw the Christmas haul, you already know. These are iridescent ornaments. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life and I'm obsessed. I really was debating getting different tones of like champagnes and golds to add into the white, but this iridescent really made it pop. It honestly looks like Glinda bubbles if you guys have seen the wizard of oz like it literally reminds me of that um these are sparkly whites and we're just using them to fill in the tree as well this was the luck of the draw find for me i really didn't think that anywhere near me had these good of 
Christmas clips, but I got these from Home Goods. They come in a pack of six. Looking back at this video, I definitely should have used all six of them because like I said, there are a couple of gaps in this tree, but I ended up using four and that did it for me. Um, you guys will see me um, <laughs> finesse with them a couple of times and the ornaments as well because sometimes I'd put it somewhere and not like it and move it, but this is what it was giving for the clips, y'all. Now going into these, these are like little accents as well, a little bit smaller than the previous ornaments and they are like snowball material. I love love them and I had a pack of six Alright, same thing from Hobby Lobby. These are icicle ornaments and I just use them to kind of accent the tree. A little bit of filler but mostly for eye appeal because I just love the way they look falling down the tree. Next, I got these white glittery leaf picks, also from Hobby Lobby. If you guys have been watching my Christmas themed videos, you know that I have an obsession with Gemma Louise's picks. She lives in the UK, so I could not find them literally anywhere. I even looked up the place that she said she got them from, and I couldn't find them. So I got these instead, and they worked perfectly. I initially wanted to just add them as filler, but because of the shape, I love the way they look kind of falling out of the tree as like an extra branch, everything. Now I'm taking my bee ornament and placing it and now we're gonna start with the tree topper so I'm using the exact same picks from Hobby Lobby and then I'm also using these glittery picks from Macy's I'm obsessed with them you guys know I bought 12 of them because I was scared they're gonna sell out and that was the main focal point of the top of the tree I'm obsessed I love it and I love the way that the tree topper turned out I initially wanted to get a star but I'm so happy I didn't because I love this 10 times more So this is how my first Christmas tree in my first apartment ended up turning out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am honestly <laughs> shook at how I was able to put this together. I literally went into this just buying a bunch of stuff from the store and hoping that it worked out. And it did. I love the arrangement. I love the way it turned out. I cannot wait until next year. I already have ideas. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for coming along with me to decorate my apartment. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.